I am going to show you a very quick, very like easy solution for your problem. If you are uh, experiencing an issue where you have like uh, import uh, through Blender or any other 3D modeling bounding boxes that uh, make object collision impossible. So if you're in a real engine, uh, you might have a scene like that looks like this or anything else. Uh, you can see that there are invisible boxes that make it so that if you press play and you try to run around as a character, uh, you can't like you, you'll very much be like bumping into all sorts of stuff. Um, which you can see if you go to your upper right corner and you see lit then you can go down and you will see a uh, player collision if you turn this on you'll see where the boxes are drawn in my uh, current visualization you can see that there's like a flickering blue that is drawn around the actual meshes of uh, what is there the thing is this was not always there when i uh, first started uh, this project there was a problem and i think i can still show you uh, with for example this one in another window if i oh, have this thing here and I go to lit and I go to player collision. What you'll see is this has this very strange box around it. Uh, there is only one reason this is here. It is because uh, you get an automatic uh, collision detector or like at least like this is like approximately the size and just what uh, the engine or maybe even blender i don't know where this starts but i'm gonna assume this happens in a real um this is giving you a problem where now if you hit this box with like for example a character you're gonna be like let's say that this is where the collision box is and here is somewhere is the object you're like a half a feet away from the actual collision and that is not of course what you would like it to do now for some ah, collision preset complexity project default what you see here is like in collision presets under collision you can click on use complex collision as simple this is very straightforward you have the project default you have the simple and complex i don't actually know what simple and complex does uh, because it just looks like i'm gonna guess this is like the intermediate stage that it veers towards uh, complex but is still simple and, and you use simple collision as complex is basically the same so i should maybe look in uh, create both simple and complex shapes Simple shapes are used for real. Seeing queries, okay. So it depends on the geometry. So in this case, it's still pretty okay. Uh, and then so use complex collision. Very simple. Now you get the thing that you can see here in this scene. All these are... Uh, uh, drawn around the actual mesh and not some approximation all around it because if i went i if i had this on on the regular level what would have happened is like there's a giant box around my entire scene so i cannot enter or like move around in my scene because on top of it there is a, the box drawn and everything inside it's like not playable and I remove that with this option now the problem with this option is I have a lot of uh, objects to apply this to I can do this manually a thousand times but there is a solution for that and the solution for that is that if I just select all of these and I go uh, asset actions 
bulk edits via property matrix and I bring this window back in. Now what you see is all of these are selected and I can select all of them. Oh, wrong button. Uh, come on, control A. So I've selected all of these. Now what you see here is you see all of these. Like I'm gonna tell you uh, beforehand, if you have see these objects here, the objects in your scene are not gonna be able to have this applied. You need to go to the content browser and do the overarching like sort of meta object, like the objects from which you pull if you, you add more objects that aren't an individual actor, but like the overall mesh from which you are uh, creating everything in your scene. If you go through static mesh, I believe, yes. Uh, uh, uh -huh. You see just complete collision complexity. You see it here over again, and you can just use a uh, complex collision as simple. And now this is turned on on all the objects uh, that are this thing. So normally, if I now would go and put this in here, you'll see the bounding boxes are placed correctly, and I am just fine putting it in there. I'm not going to put it in there. I am going to put uh, some of these vases in there, but I'll not do this in do that in this video. I uh, hope this helps you. Uh, I hope this makes your life a little, little bit easier. This is something I really wanted to know from the moment I first started to real very long ago. I went into Blender and stuff like that. Um, this just didn't work. There were, there's like all sorts of tiny things in Unreal Engine that are sometimes a little bit hard to figure out or uh, I can't find any documentation on and I hope this uh, helps you.